the tea? What's 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 the tea? Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to the Water Bears Tea. I am the Water Bear back with a new video for you guys, all right? We are talking today about three plants to keep in your home, okay? Um, I talked about this a little bit in my um, 10 ways to protect and clear bad vibes from your home video, okay? But I wanna go a little bit deeper into the importance of plants in your space, okay? So just think about, you know, I always think about as above, so below with like everything. The principle of correspondence, okay? Um, something you see like astrology, okay, the mapping of the planets maps out on Earth, okay, um, you know, something that occurs physically is also occurring spiritually, okay, um, you know, so that is with plants, okay, if plants bring us so much benefits um, physically, we eat them, that's like the main benefit, they keep us alive through ingestion, but also through oxygen, where do we get oxygen from, these babies, okay, um, and they feed off of us. They need us as well, okay? We breathe out carbon dioxide and they love it, okay? And give us oxygen. This is a perfect little combination, okay? So not only just keeping them in your space do you increase the amount of oxygen in your space. Now, there's one plant in, a, in, in particular I want to talk about that does that, which is why it's one of the three, okay? Um, and I literally talked about this in my on my Instagram. I made a post about it, and... People were like, are you, is it that amazing? And I was like, yes, like, this is something like super amazing I want to share. So I have three plants for you guys that, that you have got to have in your place, okay? The first one we're going to talk about is for protection, okay? The cactus, okay? Um, the cactus, notice it, it's all about protection of the needles there, okay? Um, but keeping them in your space is amazing for protecting your space. A lot of people use cactus needles for spells and rituals, okay? Why do you think? Okay, because they hold that same protective energy. Okay? Um, you know, I, I, my per, from personal experience, I was going through a really tough landlord situation. I was trying to move from my apartment, and as I was the month we were trying to move, um, the last month we were in there, our landlord wanted to use our space to do viewings for new people to come in because New York City they don't play. It's like we want somebody right in the next month, okay? which was fine, but I wanted to make sure that they only did it like a couple days a week at certain time frames, okay? Because number one, I work from home and I have a spiritual business. So it's very, the energy is very important to me. So I don't want people just tracking in their energy when I've worked so hard to keep my space clean and at a high vibration for myself and my you know, my clients and, and all of it, okay? Just, just in general, okay? And so I was not really vibing with the amount and, and the, the frequency they wanted to come in. They really wanted to come in every day, for like a four hour period. I was like, what the, fuck? no, you know, that's that's not, you know, helping us at all. And every time I tried to compromise, they ended up putting more restriction on. They were like, well, we have a key, we can come in any time, you know? And, and I'm like, oh my God, you know, it was just really, really tough to deal with. Um, I called so many different people to try and, you know, negotiate and, you know, try to stand up for my rights and things. And I said, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm you know, energetic. Let me use energy. Let me, let me, let me one up you, okay? I went and bought a cactus because I've read on their their protection, okay? When I tell you, this is the craziest thing, this is why I'm making this video, okay? After buying this cactus, I heard nothing more about any viewings. Viewings never occurred in that apartment, okay? Um, literally after having this cactus, and it was shortly after my birthday I bought this cactus, um, The my landlord called and said, you know what, we're actually going to do the viewings after you guys move out. And I was like, oh, are you? Okay, okay. Why do you think? All right, so amazing for protection, okay? Also, these are great gifts. I don't want to I keep trying to show this, but I added a little um, succulent, okay, to this one just because I wanted a little company. Um, and they both don't need a lot of water, so they kind of can have, you know, co have a little habitat here, okay? Um, but they are also really amazing for longevity because Texas can make it through it all, okay? If I didn't water it for like two months, it would be chilling because it has the water within, okay? And so this is also a great thing to have in your space if you're going through, like I was going through tough times when I was in New York City at that certain time, dealing with those people, also dealing with my move, okay? Um, and so this is a great 
cac a great cactus, a great plant to gift myself because it literally boosted. Number one, it protected me, but it boosted me and kept me pushing through. Okay, that last month when that was very difficult trying to find places and a lot. Okay, um, so cactuses are amazing. Okay, for protection. All right, um, really, really great, and it's also really great gifts for people as well. You know, if someone's going through something. Um, really great energy to keep them pushing is using the cactus, okay, and gift, gifting, gifting this to them, okay. Um, they also hold strong meanings. You know, my, my really good friend um, has always loved cactuses. Even her and her husband, like, they, they, um, I was at their wedding. I was the, the best, the um, bridesmaid, okay, the, the um, of, of my best friend, her bridesmaid, but, you know, um, and, um, they bought each other cactus socks. They love cactuses, okay? And so that means to me, number one, longevity in the relationship, but also they, they must be strong energies, okay? And, and, and are very protective because they have so many cactuses around them, okay? Um, the second energy I want to talk about, the second planet, uh, planet plant, aloe, all right? Aloe vera is amazing, okay? Um, for healing, okay? And again, as above, so below. So if it heals us physically, what do you think it does spiritually, okay? Always keep aloe in my bathroom and also in my bed, okay? Places that deal a lot with health. You know, I'm clearing my, my energy in the bathroom. And then where I sleep and where I do a lot of, you know, spiritual work um, is in my room. And so I keep aloe there for healing purposes, okay? Um, if you're going through, you know, shadow work or internal healing, um, going through lots of different things, aloe is amazing um, for, I just am so, I love plants so much. I'm just like stroking them as I'm talking, get distracted. Um, aloe is amazing for... Healing, okay, just in general, like I've noticed I've used Homegirl a lot. I've got a few more upstairs, but um, she's she's been used a lot. Um, and this is my first aloe plant. She produced, they also produce little babies that come up. Um, she produced four babies, so they're, they're upstairs. Um, and I use them as well, but, you know, anything. One time I, I had, if you notice, you kind of can see a little bit, uh, a little darker here. I got a really bad infection because I'm allergic to, like, cheap metals. And so I had earrings, and I wore them for, like, not even a day or for a night. And I woke up after, and, and this whole part had split and was bleeding and all kind of nastiness. Aloe, within a week, clear, like gone, okay? Recently as well, when I um, was flying down here, I had my headphones in because I was, literally the flight lasted, like I think I got home at like 7 p.m., but I, I was in the airport from 7 a.m. It was like a long connections and everything. So I was in the airport for like a long ass time, like 14 hours almost, and, or, or 13, 12 hours. And my headset was always on because I just, you know, I'm from New York. I keep my headset on, you know what I'm saying? So having that on for so long, the sweat and just things from, you know, the plane and stuff for like 14 hours, it, it made my ears, I have very sensitive skin, okay? Virgo rising, very sensitive body, okay? And so I got a rash on my ear, the same ear, okay? And aloe, within that night, the next morning, it wasn't itching anymore. The, the rash was gone. So aloe was amazing. I've used it for burns. I've used it for... Um, what are other things I've used it for? So many different things. Um, acne, you know, if you have like a, I, I always get like an ingrown hair after the, if I shave. Um, especially for dance, I used to shave a lot and get terrible ingrown hairs, okay? And especially when you're dancing on the ground and stuff, you know those ones on your butt that like really hurt? I would put aloe on it at night and then wake up and the pain would be gone, okay? So amazing, amazing, amazing to always have around. Um, and also for these spiritual benefits. I have a lot of other things in my space that help me with healing, you know, amethyst, crystals, lots of different things. Um, but I do know that aloe enhances healing as well. So if you are healed or even having it in your space can help that as well. Okay. Um, and lastly, I want to talk about the snake plant. This is the one I was talking about with the, the hella oxygen. Okay. It's one of the easiest plants. Also, all three of these are very easy to keep alive. Okay. Um, when I was in New York, you know, I can't just go outside. I can't, I can't like here. I love it because I can water them and sit them on the banister there. You see, I have a little, little pot there. Um, and they can get some sun, they can get outside and just really flourish. Okay. But in New York, they have to stay in my room and I had like two windows, but it, they didn't, I didn't get a lot of sun. Okay. And so certain plants in my room did not make it because they didn't get enough sun. Right. But these plants don't care. And even water sometimes, you know, I, I travel a lot. And so if I was traveling for the week or something, I would come back and they're still living their life because they don't need a lot of water. Okay. If you overwater them, it's not the best. And I've overwatered over -water my aloe before and they started turning like, like soggy. And I was like, oh my God. Um, and so the snake plants even got a little bit overwatered from 
couple days ago, so I'm going to keep it sitting outside to let it air out a little bit. Um, but snake plants are amazing. I literally wrote a whole Instagram post all about snake plants. Um, they are such an amazing plant, um, mainly because they produce at night lots and lots of oxygen. Okay? Um, I keep one always near my bed, on the desk near my bed. Um, and um, they're amazing, okay? They, 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 I've just personally noticed since getting one, the improvement in the quality of air in my room, okay? People, when I made the post, were like, really, you know, that, that, that's not, a plant. one little plant can't help. And I was like, get a snake plant and see, okay? So a snake plant is amazing, really, again, super easy to take care of, um, very slow growing. Um, you don't have to repot it too much. Um, the roots don't spread out too, too much. Um, and really amazing for the for the oxygen, okay? So for purification reasons, I'm gonna need you to get a um, snake plant, okay? So these are my three plants, guys, I want to share to keep in your home, okay? Um, the cactus, the aloe, and the snake plant, all right? Amazing gifts for, for other people as well, okay? Um, you know, gifting someone with a snake plant, okay, is really gonna be great to, to help for um, adding more oxygen to their space, okay? But also think about giving someone an aloe plant. Maybe if they're going through a tough time, they're, they're healing from the loss or healing from or grieving something or, um, you know, physically healing and from a burn, it would be great to get aloe, okay? Um, if you do burn easily, notice aloe, you know, Dale, that's really amazing for that as well. Any itches, that kind of thing. Um, really, really great gifts, okay? The flies are freaking out. There's so many flies flying around. This tag, okay? Um, hello, flies. Um, really great gifts. All different kinds. You can look up. There's so many different kinds of plants. These are only three. I have like I have a lot of, I have like 14 or 15 plants um, that I literally had to package and ship when I moved. It was a lot, but I love them. And they, they bring a lot of great energy and vibes to me. Um, and I hope I bring a lot of good vibes to them. I know that they're chilling there. They're flourishing. So I think so. Okay. But um, really, really great things. And you can just tap, tap in and, and maybe the plants you have, look up their spiritual meaning and see. Okay. Lots of different plants bring different meanings. Okay. But these brought three different kind of meanings. And so I want to, to, uh, share that with you okay also notice as above so below so if it purifies the air what do you think the snake plant does as well it's purifying okay notice if you think about in, in more deeply into the occult about the, the hidden meaning of snakes or the, the spiritual meaning of snakes okay with the kundalini okay um and they deal with transformation and purging of all the inauthentic and the things that no longer serve so you can spiral up and make it to the highest of, of your divine self okay that sounds like purification to me, purifying and transmuting what no longer serves. Very phoenix energy, okay? That's a snake plant, all right? Um, so really, really amazing, amazing um, plants here. I just want to give three of, of my faves to keep in your home for certain reasons, all right? I hope this resonated with you. And that's what I have for you guys. Like, comment, and share especially so other people can get this message, all right? Just by liking, you're enabling other people to see this video, okay? Um, if you like my vibe, make sure to subscribe, all right? Personal sessions, all kind of other stuff. Check my links below. All right? Much love, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and deuces.